Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you uh, how to use a sum file and how it will react with the 3D objects. So to start with, the first thing we need to do is to turn this canvas into a 3D canvas. So for that we need to add that geo. And after doing that, the next thing I need to do is to make a 3D object. In this case, I'm making a torus. The dimensions I'm giving is 40 uh, for the thickness. And then the middle part of the torus, I will give it as 10. And I want it to have six sided. And the color of the torus should be the normal material, which will be the 3D color on it. So when I run it, you can see the WebGL is working on the canvas, and you can see the 3D object in the middle of the canvas. Now, after doing that, let's make this torus rotate. For rotating, we need the global variable of angle, which we are going to initiate it with zero. After doing that, in the draw function, we are going to call this angle variable, and we are going to increment it. Not too much and not too little, so let's do that. And then we are going to add the rotate. And in different axes. So in this case, we are doing rotation in the x-axis and we are giving it the parameter of angle. Now I want my torus to be rotating in all directions so I will be copying this rotate x and changing it from rotate x to y and rotate z like this. After doing that I'm going to run it and you can see the torus starts rotating. So after doing all this, I want another torus inside this one. So I'm going to write torus again. And this time I'm going to give it the size 20. And the middle should be 5. And It should be, it uh, should have six sided as well. So you can see there is another torus with six sides and it's inside this one. If you want, you can make this small torus also rotate on its own. So for that, I'm going, if I put the rotate Y and the Z, you can choose any. And as you can see, now they are rotating at different axes. You can do this as well, or you can leave it just like that without anything, doing anything. Okay, now I'm going to, don't want this to be happening, just for showing to you. And let's give some space on these so that we can see properly. Okay, normal material is will be used by all the toruses which are uh, we are going to make next. But to make them rotate at different angles, so we will be needing this push and pop. So we will put our code inside this push and pop, and then we are going to make them work. So now I just need to do this and yes, edit our code as well tidy our code so it's properly spaced out now that's good now I will copy this torus code and make another one and another one so I 
I'm going to make three toruses in this case and uh, after that all these things let's remove these it's not looking nice so I'm going to remove these spaces in between no that's better okay now how these now if I run this you cannot see the three other toruses because they are forming on each other so what I'm going to do I'm going to make these toruses uh, translate so let's translate and in this translation we are going to say that the first one which is in the middle is at zero zero position now the second one we are going to make for this is in the second torus so let's put it here and I want it to be at minus 100 here and plus 100 here so the x will be minus 100 and in the next one it will be plus 100 so on the left is minus and on the right is plus. So for differentiation, I just let's do this. So I'm going to write one, two, and three. Okay, we are good. So after doing that, now the next thing we need to do is we need to uh, see that whether they are working or not. So let's see there are three toruses and they are at 100, uh, minus 100 and 100 position. They are rotating it the same way and there is no difference in the rotation of all three of them and the middle ones also are of the same size. So let's change a little bit so that they appear a little bit different so i will make the changes in the 100 and minus 100 one so the first minus uh, 100 one i'm doing so make it 8 and this one i'm going to make it as 6 let's see what we can get or let's say 10 okay now as you can see there is a 10 one, then there is a uh, 8 one, and there is a 5 one. So 10 can be reduced to 7 even. That's fine. Yeah, that's better. So they are of different. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to uh, make them shift a little bit in the Y axis so I want my middle one to go up a bit and the side ones to go down a bit so upper one I'm going to shift it say because it's going in the upper direction so it's in the minus so minus 80 and 100 and minus 100 I'm going to shift it down so this is in the positive so it's 20 and 20 Let's see. Yes, now they are shifted to three uh, different positions. Okay, now after doing all this, the next thing we need to do is we have to make the variable of canvas. Why we need the variable of canvas? Because I want my canvas variable to be controlling this create canvas. Why I required to do this? Because through this canvas variable, I will say that canvas dot mouse clicked. So whenever there is a mouse click, then you initiate a function. The function is for making the canvas start and stop the music so the next thing we need to do is to make a function 
that function will be a new function which will be outside our draw function so function and music control and controller and let's this is our function and in this function what we need to do is we need to um, make the conditional in this so the conditional which we need to make in this one is that if music dot is playing so if music is playing function we are going to call so if it's playing then stop the music else music should keep on playing Remove this spacing as well and let's tidy this code that will be great. Okay, so now you can see that music controller and its conditional is there. We have that, and now I can use this music controller function from here and I will put it inside canvas dot mouse clicked now the thing which we have not done yet is we have to first uh, use bring the sound file and we have to uh, make the amplitude variable as well to call the amplitude and get the levels of the amplitude music so let's do that now so this is the click function done of ours and now let's make first the amplitude one amplitude variable is done here and then we will call this amplitude variable in the function setup amplitude is equals to new b5 dot amplitude and then after doing that what we need to do we need to make another one and this is we are going to make the variable of volume here and this variable we will be using in the draw function so volume variable is going to call the amplitude variable and ask the amplitude variable to take the level after doing that the next thing we need to do is now we need the sound file for that so for that let's make the variable of music and now we need to preload this music before the function setup starts so we are going to make a function preload and in this function preload we are going to use the music variable that will call the load sound function and in this load sound function between the 
codes we are going to give our music which we have downloaded so from where we can download our music for doing that we can use the site which is called free sound and you can see here this is free sound website and this is the music i'm going to use in this the thing to remember is the file size should not be more than 1.5 mb otherwise it will not work and the type of the sound file you need is either mp3 or wave uh, sound you need so in this case i'm using mp3 one and i've uh, downloaded this uh, music already so I'm just going to show you how to upload it. So I will go here in this get file, upload the file. And in this, I'm going to show in folder. So in the folder, I'm going to get my mp3 one and crop my. As you can see, this is only 1.3 MB, it's not 1.5 MB or more, that it will not allow the thing to work. So once it's uploaded, I will write this name. As you can see, it's uploaded here, piano.mp3. So I'm going to write this here, piano.mp3. And after doing that loading the sound now let's see if we are able to play the music or do we need volume or other things in here so it's loading and you can see that the sound is playing as i click the canvas and when i click again the sound stops okay now the part where the these 3d objects start interacting with the music and start reacting to it for doing that the thing we are going to do is we are going to use the first of the toruses and in the 41 i'm going to add volume and volume i will multiply by 200 and i'm going to do this again and again in all the toruses so in the first torus the bigger one i'm going to write this make space on p oh, sorry there you go and in this one also i'm going to do the same i'm going to paste it here and you have the volumes red uh, toruses ready to read with the volumes and everything so they have the volume function in there and when I play the music now you can see they are reacting to it the outer rings not the inner ones now the next thing I want to do in this is I want to change the angles of it so in the rotate x y and z uh, the center one i'm going to rotate it with the trigonometric function of 10 so i just write 10 and i will put the angle inside the parentheses like this and i will do this in the middle one torus in all the rotations so now as you can see that it's there if i edit it maybe it will make it more easier for you to see as you can see it's here 10 angle is there now when i play again and you will see how it will react after a while as you can see it's a start rotating in a different way than the others Let's do the same to the others, but this time I'm going to use the sign in the negative. Uh, in the negative one, let's do the cos, and in the positive one, let's do the sign. So I will write cos here. Add another angle. 
bracket parenthesis and during this the rotation now the next one let's see after adding the cos is there a different moment as you can see the minus one is start rotating in a different direction to this one now let's try with the sine angle so sine and so basically sine angle and cos angle are opposite to each other so while the tan tan always reaches to infinity so you can see it changes its angles very very quickly when it goes towards infinity uh, those of you who don't know about trigonometry you will learn later on and those of you who knows about it will be able to understand what I'm saying to you uh, so let's use these functions and see what we can achieve can restart the music as well I think we need to refresh it let's do that again yeah now there I stop it and I start again and I stop again and I start again stop and start again. so you can see that you can stop and start over and over again if it doesn't then refresh your window and it will do the uh, give you the right kind of result which you need the only thing I want to improve in this I think that the lower ones I just increase Touching each other. You can change the background color to 175, which is grayish. Let's change and see it's much more better. Like I said before that we can always uh, put the rotates so let's put the rotate here and in the rotate I don't want my angle to be used uh, with tan or anything so let's remove this So I just need the angle in it, but then so it's keep rotating at its own. Let's try this in one so that you have the example as well. If you want to rotate it in certain way, you can rotate in diff uh, using the different rotates. Uh, you cannot write rotate as x, y, and z together. If you do that, it will not work. You have to write it separately. So let's try this out. Uh, it seems to be like one ring is dancing around the other ring this way. So let's do this in this also. It looks nice this way. So in the smaller nut ring, we are going to add these. No. 
you can even change the angle of one ring like for example in the second one uh, you have moving in a certain direction so if you have wanted to the third one to move in the other direction you just put a minus in front of the angles and you rotate in the opposite direction so you can see now their directions are quite different from like the project and share your own projects if you make anything new.